Hello and welcome. We're attacking out Cassie Cage in the next episode of my Custom Variations Guide uh, series for Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. Uh, Cassie will have a bit of a shorter one. I don't really have two variations that I enjoy playing that much with Cassie. I still like playing uh, her tournament variation where she gets, uh, I believe it's uh, Yas Queen, where she gets the stunning bubble for uh, grounded damage, unbreakable damage, so to speak. Uh, as well as the shoulder charge, but I do have one custom here that I really enjoy playing which has a move you could interchange if you want to change up your, your playstyle. so we'll talk about that. So this is glow up um, And what I've given this variation is shoulder charge mostly for fun We're gonna talk about it kneecapping and the bitchin bubble so kneecapping is obviously your combo tool So this is gonna let you get combos. I like combos so you know, I'm gonna pick kneecapping specifically for that reason. Uh, it also is a pretty good zoning tool. She lowers her hurt box. You can go under a lot of projectiles. Um, it helps out with her zoning a lot, uh, as well as counter zoning. It's not gonna win out any, you know, super zoning wars against certain zoning characters, but it's a good move to have for both mid-screen utility and combo utility. Um, then we have, uh, like I said, shoulder charge. So this move can check people in the neutral. If they're sleeping, uh, a lot better than, say, something like this can. Uh, it does have a crushing blow if the opponent blocks late. However, you almost never get that. I find that in situations where you're zoning with, like, high projectiles, and the opponent doesn't really have counter zoning, uh, and they're trying to make their way in, say, like, a Jax player is trying to, like, duck his way in, sometimes you'll, you can catch them if you throw in a, go a low gunshot every once in a while. Sometimes, instead, when they go to crouch and then maybe block, you can catch them with shoulder charge right before they press block and then get the crushing blow off of that. Uh, but it doesn't happen a lot. Mostly I like this move as a combo ender for a little bit more combo ender damage. Um, it has a little bit better hit advantage when used at the end of combos. And the pri if you want to spend both bars in a combo, uh, it can give you some pretty good two bar damage uh, if you, I don't use the wrong move out of habit of using the up glow kick. I did it again. Oh my god. I'm so used to playing this with uh, with up glow kick. You can get some decent uh, two bar damage. That was not optimal. You can get like 32 to 34 sometimes, I think, to pit with optimal combos. Um, it has a good knockdown in the corner. Um, but Essentially, the, the reason I picked this move mostly is it's a flashy combo ender, and I love the brutality that's attached to it. This has my favorite brutality in the game, or at least one of them. I absolutely love the one where, like, she punches the shit out of their face. So mostly, I use this for style and swag, um, which doesn't matter as much in actual matches. Uh, so if you're not really looking to use this move as, like, a check, if you're not really looking to use this move at the end of combos because you figure that her up low kick is fine, um, you could trade this move out for air guns, her air akimbo, where she can shoot the guns in the air, uh, which will enhance your zoning. So if you're looking to counter zone slash zone better, I would pick the air guns. And then another move that you could trade out shoulder for would be uh, her air escape, where she kind of grabs the drone and jumps forward or backward. Um, I expected them to nerf that move like they did Jackie's Leap and make it cost bar, but they didn't. So it's kind of just a free escape in staggers uh, if the opponent doesn't call you out for it. And even if they do call you out for it, that move is really hard to punish or, or do anything about. So it's really good for mobility and just staying on your toes. I would say if you like playing Cassie's neutral game, the way that she's meant to be played, you like kind of zoning, sitting around neutral, and then getting in and doing some quick damage and getting out, that that move is probably for you. Um, I would say that is the best fit for this variation, actually, if you don't want the swag combos off of shoulder charge. And then finally, we have uh, Bitch and Bubble, which creates this big AoE effect that does constant damage to the opponent at five ticks. Um, and it's active for quite a while. I think they did nerf its active time, um, but it's active for quite a while, and it does very respectable damage for a very respectable space that it's in. You can set this up at the end of combos. Um, different ways, I guess, you could just do something simple like this. Uh, they could probably up three punish you there, a certain characters, but like, that that's not- I haven't actually labbed any mid-screen things using this, really. Um, there are probably better setups. Uh, but I, I use this a lot less in mid-screen and more in the corner, and I'll explain why. Um, 
a big reason that I'll show off right now is that one of the nerfs that it received is that back throw now disables it, but forward throw doesn't, uh, which is interesting because forward throw is honestly better in this situation. Um, so uh, one of the things you can do with it is if you set up in the corner, forward throw, you know, is going to throw them back in the corner. They're going to take all of this damage during the forward throw. As you can see, a massive amount of damage off of just forward throw if you get this set up in the corner. And the reason why I like having Bitch and Bubble is I do like setup Cassie, right? I like that she gets like nut punch gimmicks, or nut kick, I guess in this case, gimmicks. Uh, I like doing setups with, with this character, but I also like doing combos. This gives me the best of both worlds because mid screen, you're getting combos, right? And you're getting your neutral control. I, I like my footsies. You're getting your footsies in. You have your footsies check. You have great buttons. Cassie's a great character. You have good zoning slash anti-zoning. Just a well-rounded, solid character. But then when you get in the corner, one of the issues she runs into is that, well, her combos stop working off of her launcher. They don't work in the corner. And I don't think that Netherrealm ever intends to make them work in the corner. It's kind of like a balancing act for Cassie. So she loses a lot of damage. She has to get damage off of other things. Like something like this, maybe. Um, you can launch off of this. Um... I actually forget the optimal off of this, but you can do something like this. And that kind of displays why I like this move. In the corner, I turn to setups rather than doing combos. I can't do the combos, right? So instead, I fish for certain things that can set up this bubble. And then they're stuck in the corner with the bubble taking constant damage off of whatever I do. Uh, one of the, the ways that I found that you can set this up is anytime that you can hit standing 3-4, right here, like this. Um, normally you could combo off of this, but you can also just set up bubble, basically for free. Now, they could try to up to you, uh, up three you, uh, etc. Like so, let's make them get up uh, into, let's say, I think Deadly Stab is the up three. However, the bubble doesn't go away on block. So, even if they get up into, say, an up 2 or up 3, um... They're still stuck in the bubble. And if they get hit, they're taking a bunch of damage off of this. Uh, on top of that, like, it covers rolls, because if they try to roll out, you can just grab them. And then the forward grab, like I said, doesn't make it go away. So look at the damage they eat right there. That That's absolutely crazy off of such a simple thing um it's definitely not the easiest thing to set up all the time it's not something you want to do constantly but i find that just in the corner this move is really really fun to use it's really really good i think it actually is strong not just fun um i'm working on labbing this more but i want i these videos aren't meant to be like total guides to the moves i might make more in-depth guides these are more like look-sees and to create inspiration and custom variations. Um, this one is one of my favorite custom variations because, like I said, I get to mix all the things that I like to do into one character. I like footsies, I like combos, and I like setups. These are all things I enjoy. And with Cassie, I get footsies off of her great neutral and buttons. I get combos off of my launcher. And then in the corner, because I can't do combos, I get this bubble for setups. Uh, and you could still do some setups mid-screen. Like I said, it's not impossible to get setups with the bubble mid-screen. Uh, I would say it's harder. Um, but yeah, this is definitely this is definitely a really great tool. I think this is a very strong move, and I think this is a very strong variation. Like I said, you could take out shoulder charge, just because I like it uh, for being like a mid-screen check slash a um, slash a you know combo ender for swag doesn't mean that, that it's the best move for this variation, the best fit. Um, you could absolutely switch it out for the air guns to get more zoning in. You could definitely switch it out for the mobility off of her drone snag, where she can jump back and forth, and I think that's probably the best way to go. Um, so you have crazy mobility to work with. Uh, any combination of those, I think, makes a very strong Cassie Cage and a very fun to play Cassie Cage. So, like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter one. I just wanted to mostly talk about Bubble uh, and, and the combination that I think these moves bring to the table for a very fun character to play. If you enjoy some setups slash mix-ups on, on people, if you enjoy 
solid neutral, and if you enjoy combos, I think you'll very much enjoy this Cassie Cage. Uh, but that being said, uh, thank you for watching. I hope someone enjoys either just what I've said here or maybe checking this out. Uh, and I think we might cover Katana next. We'll see. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next one.